Hi everyone, and welcome to Kadem's Quick Start Guide. If you don't already have an account, make sure to sign up on our website at kadem3d.com. Once you're logged into your new account, you'll be directed to the Assets page. This is where you'll find all your future generations. If you have no generated assets, you'll find sample assets for you to view and inspect. To start generating, you'll need to purchase a plan. Depending on the plan you've purchased, you'll have a certain amount of credits to use. In the Create page, you can choose an asset type to generate. You can learn more about each asset type in our documentation at docs.kdom3d.com. We also have tutorials for each one in our Tutorials playlist. For this demo, I'll create a prototype asset, which outputs geometry only. Once you click on an asset type, you'll see an upload box for your input image. This image will be used to generate your 3D asset. You can also use our image generator to create an image. You can upload up to six images, and we recommend uploading multiple views of the same object. However, one image is always enough, as long as all parts of the object are in clear view. For more information about our input image guidelines, visit our documentation. After uploading your image, you'll find that the background has automatically been removed. On the right, you can configure your generation settings. The generation settings allow you to customize your assets, level of quality, max poly count, and more. After uploading your images and configuring the settings, click the Generate button. Your asset will start processing. If you'd like to get notified once your asset has completed, go to Settings, then Notifications. You can toggle the email or Discord notifications to enable and disable them. You'll also find a Notifications tab in the navbar to see all your past notifications. Once your asset has finished processing, you'll see that the asset status is labeled for review. You can then open the asset by clicking on it. You'll see two 3D viewers. One will have the input image that you uploaded and the other will be a preview of your finished geometry. On the top left of your 3D viewer, you'll see the details of your asset. You can see the details of specific meshes by clicking enable selection on the bottom left. You can then click on individual meshes to view its edge, vertex, face, and tri-count. You'll also see the quality listed here. You'll see four buttons enabled on the top right of your asset's 3D viewer. These allow you to expand the 3D viewer, show the dimensions, the wireframe, and take a screenshot. After taking a screenshot, you'll automatically be directed to the revision modal. This allows you to request revisions on your asset. You can also navigate to this modal by clicking Request Revision in the Asset Card View. Please see our Request Revisions video for a more comprehensive guide on requesting revisions. Back in the Asset Card View, you can also upload a version or simply approve the geometry. You can also download this version of your asset by clicking on the download icon on the right. Once your geometry has been approved and has gone through all the stages, your asset will be marked complete. In this case, since it is a prototype asset and only includes geometry, it will only have one stage. Game Ready assets have up to six stages. You'll then be able to export this asset in any of our available formats. As you continue creating assets, you'll see your credit usage in the navbar on the left. You can see a more detailed view in the settings under Activity. For more information about any of our features, you can access our documentation using the Documentation button in the navbar on the left. Thank you for watching. We're excited to see what you create with Kadem.